In ActionScript, Array is one of the most useful primitive data types that you will encounter. In this lesson, we'll have a look at how to create and manipulate normal AS3 arrays, along with typed arrays called vectors. An array is a data structure consisting of a collection of elements, either values or variables, each identified by at least one index. And you'll notice here in this class that we actually don't have to import array or vector. This is because array and vector are both just primitive data types within ActionScript, just like an int or a string. So the first thing we're going to do here are declare two private variables, one for an array that we're calling myArray, and one for a vector called myVector. And you'll notice there's a bit of a difference here, whereas when we data type the array, we do it just like any other object within ActionScript. But when we data type a vector, we have to actually give that vector a specific data type assignment. So that's done through stating the data type, putting in a decimal, followed by this sort of construct. So we're data typing this vector as a string. What would happen if we tried to push something other than a string onto an index of this vector is that it wouldn't happen. We would throw an error because this is a typed array. Whereas this array, a basic array, can actually take a variety of different data types as its index data values. So within our constructor function, I'm simply calling another function called build structures. Within the build structures function, I instantiate my array. So I say my array is equal to a new array. And then I start pushing in data. So myArray.push, and I push in a string, myArray.push, and I'm pushing in here not a string, but an actual numeric value. And then myArray.push, and again another string. Since it's an array, I can push in any sort of data value that I want, and it's going to work. Whereas with vector, I can't do that. So you can see here I say my vector is equal to a new vector. And again, we type that vector data to string. So it absolutely has to be a string that goes into this vector. So my vector dot push a string one, my vector dot push string of two, my vector dot push string of three. And then here I'm just tracing out some values. So I'm tracing out my array index zero, which is going to map to this first string that I've pushed in. If I set this to index 1, it would map to this value. And if I set this to index 2, it would map to this value. So the important thing to know here is that arrays and vectors are both indexed starting with 0. So the first position in the array is going to be 0, the second will be 1, the third will be 2, and so on. With my vector, I'm just pulling out the second value. I could pull out the first one if I wanted to as well. It doesn't really matter. So let's debug this and we'll see how it works. Okay, so we can see my array index 0 should be pulling out a string of 1, and indeed it is. My vector index 0 should bring out a string of 1, and it does that as well. All right, so in this lesson we've seen how to use both an array and a typed array, which is called a vector, in ActionScript 3.